So the game Radical Rex is very much a product of the 90s. Uh, for instance, it stars a dinosaur. Dinosaurs were big in the 90s. Jurassic Park, the TV show Dinosaurs, etc, etc. The dinosaur rides a skateboard. Uh, skateboard's a big thing in the 90s. Watch kids' movies and shows. Everybody's on a skateboard. Uh, he also does karate in the game, this dinosaur. Uh, in the 90s, karate was a big thing. Everybody was doing karate. You had the three ninjas. You had the surf ninjas, etc, etc. There's a bunch of 90s words in this, such as uh, radical, as in Radical Rex, legendary, excellent, uh, awesome. I still use awesome. I don't know if you use awesome, but yep, Radical Rex, total product of the 90s. The graphics are gorgeous. The characters and enemies are very cute, comical, and entertaining, especially the main character who exudes personality with every gesture and animation. He'll even sometimes stop and mug for the camera. The HUD in the game is pretty easy to understand. Text is clear and looks good, and in between levels you get some cute little cutscenes. And cute is definitely the operative word when describing the way this game looks and this game's personality. An evil mammal, who is also a wizard, casts a spell to cause all the dinosaurs to fight each other. If I were this guy, I would use my magical powers to fix my face. The only one who isn't affected by the spell is Radical Rex, who was napping at the time and therefore immune to the spell, leaving him free to run off and defeat the wizard and save all the dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs are born into greatness, some dinosaurs are made great, while some dinosaurs have greatness thrust upon them whilst they are napping. Halfway through the game you end up beating the wizard and in retribution he kidnaps Radical Rexanne or at least I think that's what her name is. So this is a platformer and let me tell you the gameplay is sweet. Gameplay here is top notch. The challenge is mild but still satisfying when you overcome a challenge. The levels are non-linear and there's a decent amount of level to explore during each stage. However the gameplay isn't so non-linear that you get lost. Each level, all of which are very well made and detailed, present a new gimmick. Vine swinging in the jungle, bouncing floor in the brontosaurus, wind in the desert, etc, etc. The overall gimmick to this game is that Radical Rex rides on a skateboard, which I'd imagine is what makes him radical. The skateboard makes you go faster and allows you to go through loop, and in truth, it's pretty fun for the few times that it's used. Amongst your attacks, you can breathe fire, do a karate kick, and a seismic roar that damages everything on screen. These can all be upgraded throughout the game. By the way, colliding with a wall while riding the skateboard is actually really funny. So the game does kind of cheap out after you've beaten the first five stages which include the volcano level, the swamp level inside the brontosaurus, the desert, and the swamp. After you beat the first five levels, you have to play them all again, but in reverse. I mean, they're different levels, but they all kind of look the same. Although I don't think that matters in terms of gameplay challenge. I mean, even if the levels had different designs, they would still be the same challenge, because it's a platformer, so you'd just be platforming. But they all look the same, and it's lazy, and it's bland. And although it's fun, I don't like it. This game is good. I like this. It's well made, it's charming, it's challenging, it's fun. I like this. You should buy it. The only real downside to the game is that there's no continues. When it's game over, you have to start from the very beginning. But it's not too frustrating. With a little practice, you can get to the end. And when you defeat the wizard the final time and rescue your Friend, you both hop on a skateboard built for two and ride off into the sunset where Radical Rex will likely deliver his friend into the arms of her boyfriend. And then he'll go home and wonder what she doesn't see in him until eventually she calls and complains about what a jerk her boyfriend is. And then somewhere a voice will whisper the word, Loser. Thanks for watching.